Well, 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 guys, what do you know? The Sonic Central that I talked about in a couple videos ago did get announced. Shout out to the Zippo leak saying that a Sonic Central should be coming soon, as well as the Sonic 2D game getting announced soon and all that. All that stuff has come true. So on Friday, June 23rd, we will be getting a Sonic Central. And in this video, we're going to talk about what that will entail. And also, we got some new Sonic Origins. I'm sorry, not Origins, but I guess that too. And Superstars news. So first, let's talk about the Sonic Central. Specifically, the tweet says, Surprise, Sonic Central returns on Friday on Sonic's birthday. Tune in for a sneak peek of our upcoming projects, partnerships, and events happening in 2023. Now, I'm going to be quite honest. I don't really know what can be shown off that we haven't already seen or know about when it comes to the Sonic Central. Sonic Origins is literally about to come out, and it actually just released on Metacritic with a score of 80. It seems like the critics are enjoying the new content. And there's been plenty of new gameplay of Amy showing off her double jump and her hammer move. She can actually throw hammers too, apparently, I believe, when she's in super form. And then we're getting all of these Sonic Superstar trailers. I believe there's been two or three of them so far and different 10-minute gameplay segments showing off from Summer Game Fest. And the only thing that we have not seen is this Frontiers update yet. We have no idea when this is coming or what's going to be in it exactly. But I guess that's what the Sonic Central would tell us about. So yeah, those are three Sonic projects that we already know about. So I'm interested to see if there's anything else that they're working on that they just haven't shown off yet. I can't really imagine there's going to be anything too big or super exciting that we don't know about. But they're probably just going to expand further onto stuff. So Sonic Central, I'm definitely looking forward to that. I will probably be streaming it live so you guys can check it out. So hit the subscribe button if you're new here you want to catch that live stream. And the live stream should actually probably be available for setting a reminder on the channel if you go on the channel you'll see the live stream if you just scroll a little bit but with that said we have a new sonic superstars trailer that came out during the nintendo direct that came out on june 21st which is the day of this recording and it showed off some new chaos emerald powers we see like the purple emerald crates invisible platforms that you couldn't normally see and it kind of reminds me a little bit of the sunglasses from sonic adventure 2 and knuckles's levels if you have the sunglasses and you put them on, you can see invisible objects that you couldn't see before, like a spring or whatever, or platforms that you could now go on now that you can see them. Quite interesting mechanics as we've seen the waterfall mechanic and we've seen the clones and now that. I believe that's three that we've seen so far out of the seven Chaos Emeralds because each one will have a new power for Sonic to use. So I'm really interested to see what else they do. They somewhat remind me of like Mega Man abilities. Which I think is something really cool for Sonic to have that's pretty different because they're not like items you pick up. Once you have the abilities, you have the abilities, but it seems like they just go on a cooldown. I know people like to say this is just the Wisps again. I don't think this is the Wisps. I feel like we're losing sight of what the problem with them became rather than just Sonic having abilities. Like I don't really see how that's a problem and they're not really like the Wisps. Those were item pickups and these are permanent upgrades that you get from getting Chaos Emeralds. But anyways, in bigger news when it comes to Sonic Superstars, they actually announced there's going to be 12 zones for this game. And a lot of people were worried about this game not having a lot of zones to justify the $60 price tag. Well, if you really enjoy the game that much and there's 12 zones worth of content, it might actually be worth $60. Now, you could say Mania had 13 zones and had a $20 price tag, but... Honestly, I would pay $60 for Sonic Mania. That game had so much replayability and a lot of zones that we haven't seen since Sonic 3. And now, this game, Sonic Superstars, is going to have just as many zones pretty much as Sonic 3 and almost Sonic Mania with all new levels that we have never seen before, which honestly, I will probably enjoy it. And if I enjoy it, and I'll probably not feel bad about spending $60 on the game if I end up enjoying it that much. I feel like you can sell a $60 game that isn't really a long game based off of replayability, which is something that classic games usually tend to have. I think of the Resident Evil games. A lot of those games are pretty short. Some of them are even three hours long, but they have so much replayability to them. I think it's the same thing with Sonic. Now, do I think $60 is still too much? Yeah, I would probably shoot for $35 to $40, maybe $50. That's the type of game that it looks like to me. It doesn't really seem like it should be a full 60, but if I enjoy it, I won't really care. Unless again, Sega, you want to send me a free copy for review? Wink, wink, I'll gladly do it. But yeah, those are pretty much all of the new pieces of information that has come out. 
and we also we get more gameplay of stuff through these trailers of course but i'm pretty much expecting to see the frontiers update showcased in this sonic central and other than that i think we're just going to see more informational things we already know about and maybe a teaser for sonic prime or the rest of the first season i should say i was about to say season two but not really if you guys enjoyed this short video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and like always i'll see you in the next one oh well whatever happens happens <laughs>